Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on the cost. Little Joan's right over here. Uh, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 12, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I will be at Cassiano's today in Hamilton, New Jersey, starting at 4 p.m. Uh, during the Fringe Festival. Should be a great time, great weather. Come on out, check out the Fringe, and come to Cassiano's. Anyhow, this is a pretty intense tale of revenge. It takes place in Australia. The premise is this guy uh, raped and murdered uh, this dude's wife and uh, him and uh, the woman's brother years later after he's out of prison uh, after only 10 years. They kidnap him, take him to the woods and uh, look to get their revenge. But things of course go wrong. Um, they 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 torture him a bit, and then I think he escapes. And then they got to keep cap recapturing him, figure out how they're going to kill him. Things go awry. It's a tale of revenge and the cost of what that revenge means. It looks very intense. Uh, written by Matthew Holmes and Gregory Moss, directed by Matthew Holmes. Uh, not recognizing any of the actors, but. It looks friggin' intense. It's a nice, simple movie. Brutal till the end. Exceptional. Um, perfect pace. Uh, White knuckled thriller. Cinema Australia. It looks cool. I like the music. The actors are definitely on point. Um, you know, it is... You know, this guy, his wife is murdered... And for 10 long years, he's dreamed of getting revenge. And the guy is let out of prison after 10 years, and they attempt to get it. Now, do they get it is the question. I think they probably do by the end of the movie. Um, so, first act, they... Uh, it, I don't know. I think it may start out that they go camping... And trick the guy into going camping with them like he doesn't remember them or whatever. Or uh, maybe they got him in the trunk and no, nobody knows. And then in flashback, uh, you see, you know, what led up to this. How they kidnapped him. You also see flashbacks of the initial crime. Um, it might even open with that. It might even open with the initial crime. And then ten years later. Um, definitely the majority of this movie is act two where they get him in the woods they got him tied up they rough him up they're asking him questions and uh, they I don't know they dig his grave or make him dig his grave but eventually it's like a back and forth it's kind of like a play see it's kind of kind of farm country it's kind of the outback here um Eventually he escapes, at least for a part of the time, and uh, they have to go back and recapture him and figure out what they're going to do with him. This is his wife. Um, so, eventually, the third act is about whether or not they're going to actually go through with it. Uh, I think the husband has some second thoughts because it's not easy, not easy to kill a person. It's just not for most people. For sociopaths, meh, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> for them, anyway. Um, so the third act probably is they finally kill him. Or he might get loose at some point and kill, I'm going to say, the brother. And then the husband has to kill him finally and that's the cost like in the end he probably goes to prison or you know he has to live with it um so the cost i i talk about that in my own work the cost of something what what's the price i i, I refer to it as the price 
um, it's not easy. And it comes back on you. So, um, I, I like the cut of this movie's jib, as they say. Uh, seems like it's going to be an intense thriller. Very simple. Three actors in the woods for the majority of it with some flashbacks. I think, I think this is going to be a good movie. Just, uh, it's more about the characters and their journey than it is about action or anything like that. All right, let's see. Oh, here we go. We got a write up. Intent on dispensing their own brutal form of justice, two ordinary men abduct a felon who committed a horrific crime many years before. See, that's a good synopsis, Tim. <clears throat> you can kind of tell. You can kind of tell with these trailers what a good movie is. Often they have a good synopsis. It's short. It's to the point. It's punchy. It's one sentence. It's a nice tagline. When you have a movie that's too convoluted that they can't even describe it, that's an issue. Uh, this should be on every movie trailer. That one sentence. That one sentence pitch. Why it's not on every one of them? Uh, you, you got me. I mean, Rapid Trailer sometimes has them, sometimes doesn't. <clears throat> but if you're making a movie and it's not on there, your marketing people are dropping the ball. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan just off camera. Uh, I'll be back with more videos. Again, check me out at Cassiano's in Hamilton, New Jersey today at 4 p.m. where I'll be selling the pineys in the middle of the Fringe Festival. Get yourself a cup of coffee and a, a, a hot cup of the pineys. We'll see you in the next one.